Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem quickly. We have square root of x multiplied by square root of x to the power of negative 2 equal to 2. Okay, so this is what we are going to do first. We have square root of x multiplied by 1 all over square root of x okay and we have everything all squared from here we are having two right okay so if we take a step further we will have square root of x multiply by square of one is one and then the square and this will cancel each other so we have x this is equal to 2. Very simple. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to cross multiply so that we have square root of x equal to x times 2, and that will give us 2x. And the next thing I'm going to do is to take the square of both sides. We have to take the square of square root of x and then we take the square of 2x. Okay, so this is what we have. And now the square root and the square will cancel each other. So x will be equal to 2 squared is 4. And then x squared will follow. Remember, the square here is for 2 and the x, right? In other words, 2x squared means 2x times 2x okay and then from here this is the same thing as 4x squared equal to x now let's bring everything to the left so we have 4x squared minus x equals 0 okay now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve this by factorization okay so from here now x is common and in here I will have 4x minus x into x is 1 and then we have 0. Now we apply 0 product rule that says it is either x is equal to 0 or 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. And then x here remains 0 or on this side 4x will be equal to 1. Remember, x here remains 0, or on this side, x will be 1 over 4, because we needed to divide both sides by the coefficients of x, and that will give us 1 over 4. So therefore, we have x to be equal to 0, or 1 over 4. But then, let's try to check to know if we're right, or wrong the original equation is square root of x multiplied by square root of x to the power of negative 2 and we have this to be equal to 2 right now let's put in the value that we have if you put 0 here automatically everything okay it won't work 0 will not satisfy this equation 0 will not satisfy this equation because square root of 0 is 0 and square root of 0 again is 0. Now 0 to the power of negative 2 will still give 0, right? And on the right hand side, we are having um, we are having 2. So this means that x equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation. Now, what if we put x to be equal to 1 over 4? That means I'm having square root of 1 over 4. I'm having square root of 1 over 4 multiplied by, in here I still have square root of 1 over 4, but this is raised to the power of negative 2. Now let's work this. Are we going to have 2 as the answer? Okay, so we have, um, we have square root of 1 over 4 will give us 1 over 2. Then multiply by here, we're going to have 1 over 2 to the power of negative 2. 1 over 2 to the power of negative 2. 
okay so from here we have 1 over 2 multiply by now to remove this negative from here I'm going to have 2 over 1 and everything is raised to the power of 2 right and then 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2 so I'm having 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 is 4 and then if I take a step further from here I'm having I'm going to have 4 over 2 okay and 4 over 2 is the same thing as 2 and that is what we had on the left on the right hand side so therefore x is equal to 1 over 4 satisfies the equation and x equal to 0 does not satisfy the equation thank you for watching